we're looking at here is a piece that we'd kind of like to get to a curator or something like that since it's so unusual. This is, um, I mean, it looks like wood in every respect, but it's it's petrified driftwood. And uh, as you know, when they look like wood, that's highly unusual because they were covered very, very quickly in a... Uh, you know, non O2 environment and it preserved it. And it's even more unusual. See here, these are the still got the tree rings and everything associated with it. So we hate to cut something like this up for what we normally do. It's a large piece. We'll try to get it into an auction environment somewhere. And, uh, so I just hate to hate to cut something like this up. I mean, it's just uh, just superb. Now this is what we normally do, and you know things like this in our lapidary shop. But um, you know to cut it up for for that type of thing, we will do about oh, 10 or 15 of these a year. And these are these are excellent in and of themselves. We look for driftwood examples. And another one. And all of this wood's coming from North Georgia, gold country. And these are gold infused because um, this is the same area that we used to prospect when we were younger and now we're taking the driftwood that we found this particular sample came from eight feet down this is a piece of wood this this film's being made for an auction house by the way we're trying to get a few items ready and uh, if you're just a, you know one of our viewers I want you to know where we're where we're at and what what we're what we're doing here but I don't think uh, back to the, talking to them I don't think I can get this ready in time for your sale this another another great piece of driftwood Georgia driftwood that we'll start working on probably this winter and this piece the tree trunk or heart of the tree was snapped out of out of here still has the some of the bark on the outside so we picked that up for that reason another large piece we're gonna make into a uh, a weather station side of it so I'll put a barometer a uh, thermometer and uh, another wind instrument probably in here and that'll be a uh, a weather station probably have that ready sometime this winter as well for this piece I'm going to take this and uh, make this into another weather station, but a desktop type weather station. And that I'll, I'll probably start working on that within a month. Now we also have quite a few of these. These are too small to make into clocks or... Um, weather stations so I turn these into specimens and uh, they're they're absolutely beautiful in and of their own right just a little little small for what we we're trying to do here but if you want a inventory of those for the uh, the auction house we're glad to provide them and this is upcoming wood that we're drying right now give you an idea of where we're going 
in the future. Thanks for watching.